live. Uh, and we're at ADHD. Our sister healing center. The Freedom Gallery. We Woo! Love freedom. I'm yeah. Melissa White Chocolate Band. We're mad about Justin. Woo! 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 Now you know, and we're here with James Shaw, founder, director, and all-around rock star of the Arts District Healing Center and Freedom Gallery. Thank you for having Ooh. us. Thank you. Yeah. Pleasure to be the host. It's Friday night. We're yeah. streaming live. Absolutely. So um, you're sta you're with us here at Freedom Gallery at Arts District Healing Center, and uh, I've, I was founded this organization and directed this organization for seven years. And this has um, been an amazing political platform for a number of candidates, although Obama didn't accept our invitation. Uh, wow. Councilman Paul Kretz did, and we had a victory celebration with him present here in this very Freedom Gallery, uh, instigated by a number of people in the audience today. And, um, right on, Richard. And we, right on, right on. Woo -hoo! We've done a lot of amazing things. Um, this is Friday night. This is um, one of our various programs that are still intact after the federal government has shut us down. The federal government sent us a letter despite doing amazing things. The feds came in and said, we don't care how legally compliant you think you are or how many great things you've done for the community. We're shutting down all of marijuana in all of California. Oh. And everyone should take note of the injustice of that because we did some amazing things here. And... Um, and, but, and we're, and, but we're holding on. We're, our intention is to, uh, you know, we opened this up about uh, a year ago for um, public services for the entire larger community. Not just medical marijuana patients, but medical marijuana patients sponsored healing events for the larger community. And one of the healing Even events... Even occupiers. That's, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> one of the healing events that we loved here and that we have continued to maintain is live jazz every Friday night. And the music just stopped. And um, so anyone can come out on a Friday night with, with uh, one of the, the members of our community and come here and listen to live, live music and be amongst people that have love in their hearts. And, you know, cannabis is one of the driving themes for this community and certainly something that we all share in. Um, but it's really the love that's behind it that really motivates us all. And it, it's, it gives me no greater pleasure than to introduce um, candidates that are, that are seeking office, that um, have an openness um, to a medicine, can cannabis medicine being a thriving part of our healing community. And, um, and tonight we have with us Melissa Ballin. And Woo! Woo! Right on, Richard Eastman. Absolutely. And, um, it's a, it's a great pleasure to introduce these candidates because they come with a spirit and a, uh, and a personality that, that politics needs. They're real, they're honest, they are, and, and, and we can count on them to do a great job for the city of Los Angeles. And what I'm particularly happy about is Melissa Bell, she is a comic. And we need more yeah. laughter in the yeah. world. Yeah. You know, we were doing yeah. a comedy yeah. night. Here. We've been doing a comedy night here for years, and that is the key. That is one of the many keys to healing. And so, at this point, I'm going to turn it over to Melissa and everyone here. Thank you, everyone, for being out here tonight, and uh, have a great evening. I heard actually that I'm going to be presented with a signed shovel. Uh, because the ADHD, when it was in its full glory, embraced every aspect of healing and cultivation and community. And actually, those of you who know, through at ADHC tweets, you can find out when they are reopened. You can follow and find out what to do at ADHC tweets. But you'll see that uh, the stories about everyone, how they got inspired by their shovels and how they continue to participate in cultivation. And as it turns out, to get through this justice system, you definitely, definitely need a shovel. So shout out to <laughs> Stephanie Landa and El Pop. What do we want? Justice! justice! When do we want it? Now! now! And so before I introduce a very important activist who inspired me to run for office, to say a few words, we want to say a shout out to someone who couldn't be here today, who couldn't speak, but we know what is on her mind. We're mad about justice because we can't get immediate relief except for Rolaids or Tums. 
But we need immediate relief. We need it now. We need equitable courts to put people before prophets. People like Daisy Bram, who has had her children taken from her. She's a wonderful mother. She's a cannabis activist. And we know that cannabis is safer than alcohol. But you've heard it all before. You can hear more at Jack Herer Hemp. And we'll keep telling you the truth. Richard Eastman. Right on, Richard Eastman. Right on, Richard Eastman. Eastman. Is a write-in candidate for the 13th district. Whatever happened to the 13th district? Yeah. Well, it's Hollywood. And whatever happened to the 13th candidate? Well, I'll let him tell you. Richard Eastman, you can follow him at Richard Eastman for City Council. The election's March 5th. So... Hurry, be our constituents. Yeah. First of all, let me say hello to all the voters in Los Angeles. And for the voters that don't know me, I'm the guy with Dennis Perone that legalized medical marijuana not only here in Los Angeles and California, but 18 states in the District of Columbia. But this is all about a, an election coming up in just a few weeks about senior citizens needing housing, uh, patients needing their medicine, uh, rent control so disabled people and, and people on Social Security don't get thrown out of their apartments. We have the 12 usual suspects, including the mayor's aide, the councilman's aide, the local community activist, or you have the people's candidate, the 13th candidate, the write-in candidate for the 13th council district on March 5th, 2013. The voters in Hollywood, Silver Lake, Atwater, and Echo Park, uh, there's about 100,000 voters. They're saying it's going to be a low turnout. I'm urging everybody to get out and vote, not only for my friends running for mayor, but perhaps Eric Garcetti. I endorsed him last night. I'm endorsing him because he's the only mayoral candidate besides Melissa Ballum that said he would ask the federal government to reschedule marijuana as a medicine. And as long as Richard Eastman and Dennis Perone are alive, we will continue the fight to get marijuana rescheduled as a medicine. So on March 5th, you have a choice between the 12 usual suspects or you can vote in a man, the people's candidate, yeah. Richard Eastman, right on for the city council. Right on for the city council. Right on. Eric Garcetti only because he did stand up for medical marijuana, but Melissa Ballin deserves those votes too. So get out there and write in her name. And we do have another candidate, Juan Acala of Occupy LA is running for the 11th Council District. That's my friend Bill Rosenthal in Venice. So there are actual three occupiers. We didn't ask Occupy to endorse us, but I gave out four pounds of marijuana and 2,000 spaghetti dinners to honor Dennis Perron November 5th and 6th last year, and we'll do it again, and there'll be free lunches when I'm elected, because I've already said I'm giving away the salary to feed the homeless. So thank you, Melissa, and thank you to Marijuana Nation of Los Angeles. two tickets to the Dosha Cup, yo, tomorrow, and talk about music and healing. We're streaming live from the Freedom Gallery. At Arts District Healing Center.